And without further ado, um, the reason our big part of the morning is our community talk from our head prefect, Wayla Ray. So, Miss Saley, over to you. Good morning, everybody. All right. Waylore Diallo. I can remember the first time I chatted with Waylore outside three years ago in the September sunshine. Her genuine and bright smile on her face as she tried to teach me how to say her name. I am not an auditory language learner and need to see hard for me words written down in order to remember them. I told her so. We parted ways, but later that day, she approached me with a little slip of paper with this written on it, W-A-Y dash L-O-R-E dash E-H. Her name phonetically, way, lore, a. <laughs> the first of many gifts she has given me. This simple thoughtful act says a great deal about Way Laurie's character. She recognized my desire and hardship to learn her name. Me, the adult, the teacher should be able to figure this out, yet she took the steps to help me find my way. In recalling that moment, it makes perfect sense to me to see that uh, where she is today, now head prefect of the student leadership team. She sees things and she does them. Three years ago, she joined us quick and quickly bonded with a German student, Lena. They were inseparable. They shared enthusiasm, field hockey, polar dips, a room, laughter and fun. I can't talk of Waylore's time here without Lena. Those first months created the basis for Waylore's experience. She, was always, she has always been a positive contributor to Brick's House and its traditions. Miss Chris relied on her from the get-go and that has not changed for Miss Dykerman. Waylore's responsible ways and strength of character um, saw her voted in as the only grade 11 for the student leadership team for the 2020-21 school year. As a prefect that year, it was unique. We were in a pandemic, all of the regulations, cohortings, no out trips, no committees. The prefect role changed drastically and was one where new realities of the pandemic were changing daily. And we had to alter plans, change house cup activities at the very last moment. Waylori's ability to see the bigger picture was a huge asset to the team. She brought creative solutions and options to the table. She stepped up and into roles asked of her at a moment's notice. A great deal was asked of the prefects at large last year and Waylore rose to the challenge. And as a result, when it came time to vote in the new group of prefects and for head prefect, the support for her was resounding from all areas of the community. Here are a few of the things people, staff and students said when voting for Waylore for head prefect. Waylore, she's responsible, honest, shows compassion, stands up for what's right rather than following the flow. She has experience and she is confident, yet open-minded to others. She will lead by example and help rebuild our sense of community post-pandemic. Waylore, because she is a strong leader, but still manages to listen to everything everyone else has to offer and incorporate it in the decision that needs to be made. Waylore, she's simply the best fit for the role. As you can see, Waylore had the support of the community and has not let us down. It has not been an easy few years for Waylore. Like many of our international students, she has not been able to visit her family as easily or as regularly as she would have liked to. She became a member of the last spring's lockdown, Camp RLC, partaking in Doc Ball and Alti and the Hecla and more. She has embraced challenges, accepted them with poise and worked hard to surmount them, often putting the community ahead of her own needs. She is a loyal friend. She has a strong moral compass and a stalwart code of ethics that she lives by. She offers kindness and support and cares deeply. Waylore, thank you for being such an astounding leader for the past two years in all aspects of our community, on the athletic field, in our boarding community, in school spirit, academics, and of course, the prefects. For me, <laughs> darn it. When I read through this morning, I cried and I was like, I'm not gonna cry. For me, you have babysat my kids at some of the hardest times of their lives, giving them love and laughter when they needed it most. You have written me the most beautiful letters that mean more to me than you know. 
you spoil me with your generosity of heart. You have become family over the past few years and I am grateful for a place so I can't see. <laughs> I'm grateful for a place where friends become family. On behalf of all RLC, a sincere thank you, Waylore. And we look forward to all that you have to share with us today. Before I hand it over for you to you, and I know this is not something that you love because you shy away from the limelight, but this is such a beautiful picture that I had to share that makes me so happy and I absolutely love. Thank you, Waylore. Okay, hi guys. Sorry I sound like this. I have like a sore throat. <laughs> um, before I start talking about myself, I just want to say thank you to Miss Silly for the introduction and thank you for your consistent caring mentorship. I truly appreciate your support and you've truly been an important part of my journey here. Thank you. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Willary and I've been at RLC for the past three years. It has definitely been a roller coaster for me, but it has also been one of the most impactful decisions my mom and I have had to make for me. Coming here was challenging in many ways. I was leaving my family and friends behind and little did I know I was saying goodbye to my comfortable life for the next two years as COVID made an appearance and I was stuck here. Growing up, I moved around a lot. So being in a new environment wasn't hard. However, what was hard at first was opening up to new possibilities and new people. I had actually visited RLC with my mom in 2017 during the summer and we were given a tour by Mr. Kuro, who was also about to begin his journey here at RLC. I remember that day and the conversation so well because it was full of comfort, joy, and laughter. Two years later, I finally joined RLC. Upon my arrival, I had an interview with Ms. McLeod, and when I arrived on registration day, she greeted me with a warm and inviting smile. She seemed so genuine. I then saw and talked to Mr. Kuro, who seemed so excited I had finally decided to come. I also remember going into bricks with my mom and feeling the same warmth and genuinity from Miss Chris. From then on, even though I was still apprehensive, I felt safe and welcome here. As a kid who moved schools and countries a lot, to be honest, I am a school kid. But what made school so comforting and enjoyable were the people, the environment, and the sports. I was a very sociable and interactive child growing up, and maybe even too much at times. But to be honest, coming to RLC changed that. I became more reserved as I was keeping to myself a lot. Although that other side of me faded, it wasn't so bad because it allowed me to observe my surroundings more and to look into myself as I tried to figure out who I am and who I wanted to be. I slowly became someone who would much rather listen to, help, or care for others, which makes talking about myself right now a little weird. <laughs> But RLC frequently talks about personal brands. And for some reason, this phrase has stuck with me throughout my years here. And it became almost inevitable to not build onto my personal brand. It all became an unconscious journey I was on that was helping me figure myself and the world out. This is why I often see a different version of myself every year I'm here. So much has happened during the past two years in my personal life. Some things that I've kept to myself. And it has honestly been hard for me at times to be here and just hard overall, but there's been some good times that I cherish deeply. And through both hard and not so hard times, my mom has been there, so thanks mom. <laughs> At RLC, I did things like sleeping in a Quincy and going on a week-long sailing trip in grade 10, to name a few. After that week-long trip is when I truly began to immerse myself in the RLC experience. During that trip, I met this girl, Lena. She and I quickly clicked. We became inseparable and we both fully enjoyed and participated in every aspect of RLC. Although I keep to myself, I've met and opened up to a few great souls that took this journey with me, like Lena, Jordan and Kira from last year, and of course, Judy, my other half on campus, and we can't forget about Tim. It is kind of hard for me to see and tell you how much I have grown or to see what I have accomplished personally, because I mostly internalize and rarely take the time to reflect on or appreciate things in relation to me. However, it has been so nice to see my friends and people around me grow and to have been able to impact their journey and help them reach their goals and help this community overall. Helping, supporting others makes me happier. I've had numerous conversations with Ms. Chris, Mr. B, and Ms. Ailey that made me feel so cared for and that have most certainly impacted and helped when times were hard. 
I also appreciate Mr. Snake for helping me figure myself out when he was my mentor second semester of grade 10, as he constantly reminded me of the emotional rackets I had against myself. Thank you. And thank you to Ms. Bacassi for constantly going above and beyond outside the classroom to help me and others. As I mentioned, sports have always been and made school easier for me. With that being said, being a part of the varsity teams here has been so great and getting to play and compete and build a team bond with my teammates has been exceptional. I have developed a love for field hockey here and I'm a little sad the past fall was my last season here. But thanks to Ms. Chris for helping me develop the love for the sport and thank you to Ms. Dykerman for a great season this year. Two out of three of those years here, I took on student leadership roles. It felt very interesting to be learning and doing at the same time. I was learning and discovering myself as a leader and role model, whilst also actually trying to be that for you and myself. Coming into those leadership positions, I wanted to learn to help and maybe even inspire others. To be honest, 2019 me totally didn't see myself being a prefect here, nonetheless for two years straight or even becoming head prefect. But I'm glad I did because being a prefect has taught me so much about myself and others and has allowed me to take that extra step and take on responsibilities in a way that would reflect my authenticity. It has also been great to work with both leadership teams over the years. In a few short months, I'll be off to university and I'm not quite sure what to expect of myself, but I certainly know what type of person I wanna be. I'm looking to maximize on making more memories over the next few months so that when that time comes for me to graduate and leave RLC, I will have no or very few regrets and I'll leave knowing that I have fully absorbed what RLC has to offer. To wrap this up, I just wanna say that once in a while, take a few minutes, think about how you are, who you are, what you're accomplishing, where you are in your journey, and most likely you'll find that you've grown and changed and achieved more than you feel or notice. Thank you for listening. Wow, Wayla Ray, your community talk speaks volumes about who you are and your standards. Thank you for those words. It's clear as our head prefect, the strong leadership and moral character you provide for all of us, young and older. We all see you as that confident, poised and compassionate leader with a commitment to excellence. Personally, I've been very privileged to have enjoyed many chats with you this year, beginning on out trips where you and Sage were a paddling force to be reckoned with in Algonquin. You love to cook, and I learned that in out trip where you were one of the few that actually wanted to cook in the outdoors, and you love to spend time in the kitchen, as Karina and I learned in our house, for nourishing food, which speaks about your care for others. You clearly feel good when others are doing well. Wayla Ray, you have very high expectations and standards. Please, for all of us and those fortunate to work with you in your future, keep that bar high. I know we're all very excited to watch you on your continued life journey and what a journey that's gonna be. We're so proud of you. Well done.